could go wrong swimming in a 58,000 gallon predator pond. Oh. Ooh. oh, geez. Oh my gosh, that was a close call. Whoa, gotta get these out of here without her fighting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, geez. whoa. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Kind of old school style intro for you right there. I'm actually with my boy here, Toothless, just kind of spending a little bit of quality time with him and actually thinking about some of the things I'm going to be doing at the zoo in the next day or so, and that is moving some animals around and kind of doing some new displays. So Toothless is getting pretty big for his environment, so what I think I'm going to do is actually take the Gretel's Carpet Python and get that back over to BHB. We can get it into a breeding cycle for next year because we didn't breed her this year, and I think this is going to be an absolutely amazing enclosure for toothless it's four foot by four foot by four foot so it's going to give him lots of room and lots of things to do so i think he's going to look absolutely wonderful in there and it's just going to give us an ability to see him even more which is going to be really cool because as toothless gets bigger he's going to have to continue to stay so habituated to handling what an absolutely amazing animal and a great disposition after going out to steve at leap and leeches and seeing some of his bigger ones i was like oh my god i cannot wait till toothless gets four or five or even six foot long regardless so that's that's one of the things we're going to be changing this week. Another animal that's about to get an upgrade is another jet black animal. Of course, this is Night Fury, the golden child motley. That is ridiculous. He's getting really big and he's definitely going to need a bigger enclosure too. So what I think I'm going to do is we're actually going to take Sunny, the sharp albino boa, and we're going to put that back over at BHB too because Bruce and Jessica are really excited about breeding boas next year. And they're like, can we try to breed Sunny? I'm like, sure, no problem. So I think that's what's going to happen because I mean, I'll be totally honest with you. A lot of people don't handle Sunny for whatever whatever reason. I think it's an amazing animal, but I think that if Night Fury was in this cage right here, just look at how beautiful that would look. And people could really see Night Fury, plus he's going to get much, much larger quicker. He is growing like a weed for sure. I think even more people would want to hold him, so I think we're going to go ahead and switch this one out. So that's another upgrade, which means we're going to have two cages, of course, Toothless and Night Fury's cages that we need new animal ambassadors for. And I was thinking for Night Fury's cage, maybe a couple Aki monitors, maybe some red Ackies. They're kind of a dwarf monitor. They don't get really big. They could stay in here for quite a while. When they get to full grown adult, we'd have to move them up to something bigger. But for probably a year or so, they would stay in here and they'd be really cool. They're a real active monitor, which is really cool. And I just have always wanted to keep them. So I don't know, maybe some Ackies for this cage. And then the next question is, what are we going to do for Toothless Cage up here? I just don't have an idea right now. I mean, we always have a lot of animals, but uh, let me know in the comments if you can think of something that would be really good for a 36 by 2 foot by 20 inch cage right here. You can see lots Lots of rocks and crevices and stuff like that. I think I want to put something that's really awesome. The only downside to that cage, of course, is that it's kind of up high. So we don't want something that kind of burrows down because then people will never see it. But it's kind of cool that we'll be able to not only move a couple animals up, but we'll also be able to get a couple more ambassadors at the zoo. Let me know what you guys think about it. I definitely want to make sure I'm putting something really awesome in here. Uh-oh, look who shed, guys. Lucy shed out. She's got a little piece of stuff shed on her for the most part. Looks like she shed the rest of her out. <laughs> which means that we are less than 30 days away probably from a clutch of eggs from this beauty. And she had spent the last couple days in the water before she shed out. And guess what? She's right back to where I said, I think she's gonna lay her eggs. I'm almost positive that's where it's gonna be. Definitely gonna be really exciting. Wow, guys, we are less than a month away from hopefully a beautiful clutch of eggs from this girl. But now the downside, um, I've gotta clean this cage. I have something that's really exciting to share with you. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at that mangrove snake. Beautiful. Well, she was loaded up with eggs and guess what Ooh, oh jeez relax oh my gosh that was a close call whoa come on girl it's okay it's okay oh gotta get these out of here without her biting whoa 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 oh my gosh she, whoa okay 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 gonna shut that cage really quick we're gonna take a look at these eggs oh my gosh she was upset definitely she's like Lucy as a mama she's a mean little mugger here so take a look at this guys look at two four six eight beautiful eggs from this mangrove girl they look a little desiccated because this dried out just a little bit so we'll get them in an egg box we'll put a little bit of moss on top of them to get them rehydrated and we should be good to go oh my gosh mangrove eggs again this is so exciting we've got a couple other females that are due to lay some beautiful eggs too here but basically that's really like the first clutch of the year so i am super excited how awesome is that guys it was pretty exciting i just pulled some mangrove eggs oh, oh yeah? my god but that female got so close i mean she I was upset she was upset. It yeah. was crazy. It was really cool. Oh, uh, we're actually going to wrap up here because we're going to see some cool fish. Everyone knows that yes. Eric is a fish head. Love it. You coming with us? Uh, I don't think I want to. Why? 
Because We're gonna, why not? I, we almost died on our last road trip. I yeah, don't that is feel, true. We did have a like really close call where literally like this trailer was in the middle of the road, just stop, no lights, anything. And we're doing, this is the middle of the night. Middle so we're night. literally doing like 75 miles an hour and literally inches. It was so Oh my it was, God. It was crazy. So scary. But we're gonna be fine tonight, don't worry about it. And the, and the word is, is that, I'm not sure guys, but this guy has huge fish. He turned his swimming pool into a fish Dude. tank. And the word is, is we're gonna be able to go swimming. Did you bring your swim trunks? I, I brought my swim trunks, right. got the waterproof case on the GoPro there so I can get some up close So that's shots. the truth. I don't know for sure that's gonna happen, but that's what they told us. They That'll said we cool. could go swimming with these huge fish in the swimming pool, so it's going to be epic. So we're going to wrap up here. I think that Noah and Eric oh, yeah. are going to shoot this little piece about taming the cow reticulated python. Put a link <laughs> in the description. Uh, you guys could definitely see that. As for now, we're going to wrap up. We're going to get on the road. I think it's about a three and a half hour drive to Cleveland. We're about an hour outside of Cleveland. My buddy Dan here from Puts Pond. Put a link in the description. Go show him some love. Of course, Eric and Mary. Uh, you guys excited? Now these so guys have excited. actually these guys have actually seen uh, this place. I haven't even seen it online. So it's really cool, Dude, huh? it's so cool. I can't believe we're actually going there. Big Ridge. Big Ridge. So I hear cool, this guy's a, a character. Of course, <laughs> my buddy Greg Wade stopped me there. Paul Caffaro is coming. So we're going to meet up with Paul. And who else? I don't know. Who else is going to be there? It's going to be awesome. We are an hour away, and uh, I guess we're going to see some really cool fish. So we made it here to Ohio Fish Rescue. Uh, we got Greg in the pond over. We got Paul over at Predator Friends in the house. This is absolutely incredible. Look at this. This is a big fish tank. What do you have for me, Greg? This hand, nothing. What uh, the heck is that? That's just uh, what? Is this just in here? A little cave and just swimming in here. How what? cool is that? <laughs> this, is <crazy. laughs> this is called Fantasyland. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Oh, I'm definitely going to be getting in here, man. This looks awesome. Oh, there's a ton of fish. They're moving a bunch of stuff in here. There's a bunch of fish rooms. Uh, oh my God. This place is insane. Just released the platinum alligator gar. Holy cow. That is an unbelievable fish. I mean, can you believe this? They're <laughs> just releasing a bunch of fish. And we're going to get a chance to go in and swim a little bit later. Oh my God, this place is unbelievable. I mean, it is crazy. I love it. Beachless. I really, it's just surreal to like be here after watching it and stuff. It's so cool. Isn't it? It's, it's crazy. It's it, crazy. It is awesome. Uh, Mary, you're worried about this being your house one day, right? Yes, very much so. <laughs> oh, it's going to happen. Day. One day. One day. It's, it's going to happen. Yep. We're going to build it for it. Yeah, it's a, yes. <laughs> well, they're going to be releasing fish kind of all night, and then we're going to be, uh, like I said, just having a good time. Get a chance to get in the water. Eric's going to go swimming. Oh, yeah. Oh, brought the trunks, brought the, brought the shirt. There's a lot of people. Okay, I'm a little, you know, shy. Here's another platinum alligator gar right here. Look at so this is Big Rich's back room where really all the fish were. Now you said you've seen this on the videos yes, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So you can see all these guys are in here. We've got fish all, we've got some rays over here, a bunch of rays over here. Look at this tank here. So this is like the big one, right? Dude, this, look at, it's next to me. It's just as tall as I am. This is insane. I think this is, I think it's a 4,500 gallon. Oh if I'm not mistaken, 45, 4,800. Oh my gosh. Dream tank. Look at that. Look at <laughs> this fish in here. Big arowana. You got, oh my gosh. Giant garage. Garamis, and garamis. I don't know what that thing is. That thing looks sweet. Looks like a sturgeon. It, almost. it almost looks yeah. sturgeon esque. Yeah, it's crazy. So this place is insane. I mean, you can just kind of go around. Got all the koi fish over here. Uh, another huge tank here, and oh my God, there's just all kinds of stuff. Are these silver barbs? Is that what they call those? Uh, tin foil barbs. Tin foil barbs. Yep. 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 Foil and those barbs. are pretty small. They'll get quite a bit bigger, actually. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. When I go to reptile places, I get like super excited. Well, Eric and Mary are getting super excited about these fish things. Oh, cool. Cool, dude. <laughs> Look at these. Oh my gosh. Now is this a what is this called a, 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 clown, a clown blade knife. or a clown, a clown knife. knife? Clown knife. Yeah, yep. Clown yep. Knife. Yep. Yep. Looks like yeah. a uh, maybe like an Asian air one. What the heck is that? Do you know, some kind of peacock bass. I've never peacock. seen one uh, that color before. Oh my gosh. Peacock it's bass. Very uh, and cool. of course got this fly river over Ooh. here. Got some sort of catfish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, everywhere you look, there's just huge oh, fish oh, here. So we're having a good time. And again, we're gonna go ahead and get in the big pond or pool or fish tank or whatever you want to call. It. We're gonna do that a little bit, try to see if we can just swim around, get 
get some underwater footage and stuff like that. But uh, uh, and then lots of people are rolling in. We're having a great time. Eric and myself are going to go swimming around. There's what is in here? There's uh, the, there's red-tailed catfish. There's some alligator gar. There's a giant garami. There's a few other like species of like uh, kind of Amazonian catfish in here. So just watch your toes. Oh my gosh. So these uh, are predator fish, right? Predator tank. Yeah. So what could go wrong swimming in a 58,000 gallon predator pond. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go check and see what we can find. Oh my gosh, I tell you what, this is amazing, right? It's incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mary, what do you think? This is awesome. <laughs> I mean, guys, it, it's, I don't even know. There's a four-foot alligator guard here. It's crazy. And I went right up to it and touched it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Do don't do well, I know. Don't it was fine. <laughs> it was just totally fine. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I need one of these at the Reptarium. Please. Could you imagine at the Please. Reptarium where we had this, like, alligators floating oh around and gosh. stuff? I'll clean oh, it. my gosh. I'll tell you right now. I would love to have this experience offered somehow where you could get in with, like, again, alligators, maybe a big python. Ew. I've talked about it before. Oh, my gosh. And doing this is so cool. Incredible. Incredible. There's a 40 pound red tail catfish in here. This is insane. It was literally just at our feet. Bumping our feet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is awesome guys. That's definitely worth the drive. Absolutely great place. I'll put a link in the description to the Ohio Fish Rescue if you guys want to show them some love. Uh, definitely a cool place. And if you're in Ohio, definitely look up Big Rich. He is a yeah. character. Let me he just is. tell you what. Yeah. And a uh, great guy. So come see him. Five, four, Sometimes love is just in the air, you know what I mean? Oh, so cool. Lost my shoes. Uh -oh. This is one of the cutest things. Look at it. I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure if that's love or if that's two males fighting, but uh, but nevertheless, there's a lot of kissing going on here. You know. Just, it's beautiful. Take a look at this. A little culvers came in. These things are incredible. And earlier, this was actually just swimming around in the pond. Uh, I thought that it was going to still be in there when we were swimming around because I thought, oh my God, that would be cool. But I tell you what, these guys are really athletic. Look at those little chompers right there. You don't want to get hit by this because even an animal this size is definitely going to inflict some damage. And it'll be really difficult. It's not like an alligator. Trust me, an alligator is a lot less than this. And uh, it is an absolutely beautiful man. Just look at that. Ooh, just look at that absolutely chiseled look on its face. Prehistoric and whoo, I tell you what, he's a feisty little monkey too, but absolutely gorgeous. I love this little dude. I tell you what, what an absolutely amazing place, an amazing time. Met a bunch of great people, uh, had a great time swimming around with a bunch of these fish. And guess what? They're actually going to hook me up with a bunch of really cool fish for Bowser's Pond that Bowser can live with, that everyone's going to be happy. That's going to make that front pond really cool. So definitely, I appreciate these guys for supporting me. We'll do a collab when they bring them up and release them and all that stuff. But we're going to make sure that the fish are great. They're experts. I'm certainly not. I cannot be more excited about that future. Hopefully that will happen in the next, you know, two, three weeks, whatever the case may be. Uh, but God, let me know, guys, what you thought of this. Was this an amazing story? Sometimes it's good to just kind of step away from what you're used to and the normal thing with the reptarium and all BHB and all that stuff and just hang around some awesome stuff like this. And like I said, I'm going to the Monster Fish Bash down at the end of May. So again, I'll put a link in the description for that. If you guys are in the the Jupiter, Florida area, or in that kind of area over there, I'll definitely be there. We're gonna have a great time with Paul Cafaro. Joey from King of DIY will yeah. be there. Catch them all. All kinds of great people. Ken and Harkin, all kinds of stuff. So it's gonna be a really good time. Until now, I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog, guys. We're gonna have a four hour drive back and just uh, chill out. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Have an absolutely amazing day. I love you guys. Be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you tomorrow.